Welcome back, everybody. Okay, downtown. Let's go to the FBI headquarters. Hello, everybody. Trophy case. We keep awards in there. A few of the top shot ones are mine. Hey, hey, hey. Ball of Fame? So many heroes. I wonder if these weren't some of the backers. I'll bet you that's where that is. Guinevere Graham. Gwen for short. I don't know what we'd do without her. Department admin, office manager, and she's handling evidence these days, too. Hi, Gwen. Hi, Gwen. How are you? Erica! Working hard. You know, lots of things to file. But hey, can't complain. Still have my job. <laughs> yeah. So, what's up? So... How's it been handling the evidence room? Crazy, isn't it? Davy said it's only until we get out of this mess. Cutbacks and all. Wish this came with the raise, but what can you do? Anyways, if you have any requests, I can get it for you. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. Alright. The printer. That's our printer. Old, but still works. But that's not the right size paper. Sully, my desk. Let's take a seat. My little corner of the room. It speaks to how well I play with others. <laughs> Talk to you. No. Jared Sullivan. Or as we like to call him, Sully. Yeah, there's some history there. I'd rather not unless there's a reason. The less we talk right now, the better. Oh, uh, that both, they're both Sully? That's Agent Stephen Abbott's desk. Steve's on vacation right now. Oh, oh this is it. This is, this is perhaps my... <laughs> to the Phoenix Online staff, uh, I have... Thank you so much on this as I was kind of given a bit of a hint on what this was and <sighs> folks this is this is perhaps my greatest achievement to date and not really a great achievement but something that I find incredibly awesome special agent Marjorie Vargo sits there Marjorie's out having baby Kevin and if you've not gotten the reference Marjorie Vargo is my mother and I would be baby Kevin so, ah, thank you again, Phoenix Online staff. You have no idea what that means to me. That, I, that that's just, that's so awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Where is Davies? Apparently Davies is... Not emphasized. A map of the metropolitan area of Boston. I guess it was useful at one time, like ten years ago. I just want to hear it again. Special Agent Marjorie Vargo sits there. Marjorie's out having baby Kevin. And that is the correct spelling of my mom's name. She has an odd spelling of it, but that's uh, that's so cool. It's the FBI's most wanted list. wonder if these aren't more, uh, backers. Hey, John. My partner in crime. John has always taken a protective role with me, especially when I get my crazy ideas. And your whiteboard looks fantastic. Oh. Let's go talk to John. I'm gonna take your lighter. The guy doesn't go anywhere without that thing. A present from his dad or something like that. 
I want it. Gimme, give gimme. Give Fine. My cigar-loving, donut-devouring FBI partner. Things cannot get more cliche than that. Good morning, John. <laughs> What's so good about it? <laughs> you are an iridescent ray of sunshine today. Did you have your coffee yet? <laughs> Shit, no coffee will fix this. What's up? All this paperwork that fell on my desk today, like a goddamn ticket tape parade. I'd offer my help, but... But? Don't really want to, sorry. <laughs> Bring me some donuts if you want to help. Will the bag of chips from the vending machine do? Get out of here! Have you seen Davies? Sully told me she left early. Got reeled in by something, I suspect. Great. Know when she's coming in? Nope. Now stop asking questions. <laughs> it's my job. Well, stop being so good at it. <laughs> Had any new thoughts on the hanging last night? <laughs> you see my desk? A man cannot think straight with all this. You know, there's something that doesn't fit. Erica, every case you've worked on, you've hoped it had something to do with Scott's killer. It's that gleam in your eyes. And it's right there, right now. It isn't that. Davies had a bad feeling about it, and I agree. Well, you know what to do. Put your clues together. Go back to the crime scene. Pay a visit to Dr. Gallagher. See what surfaces. Meanwhile, you'll be here guarding the donuts. There's a bright side to everything, Mama said. But there's no donuts today. So I can't even have that small comfort. <laughs> so I went to see that woman, Rose. And? Uh, I don't know. You know I hate that spooky shit. But she seemed to know something. You gotta deal with these flashes of yours now, before they seriously screw up your ability to do your job. I guess. <laughs> How's the case going? It's going. Well, you know what to do. Put your clue- Right. Well, I guess I should get back to the case now. How are you feeling, kiddo? I'll survive. I'm gonna stop by Scott's grave today. Red, my mama always said, if it's meant to be- It'll happen. You know what pisses me off? Not that I haven't caught the killer, or that Davies closed the case, but the fact that there may be another pair of innocent suckers out there whose lives could be about to change forever because of this bastard. He's been quiet for three years. Maybe the guy died, who knows, had a heart attack. The guy was on fire last time anyone saw him, you know? Look, in any case, stop the whining and go do some work. You are better than that. Yeah, I'll catch you later. All right, let's pull out. Probably don't need to use the emergency exit. <laughs> it's still so awesome. Uh, do we have anything in our wallet? It's just the badge. I guess not. Uh, Davy's desk is closed. What about my desk? Let's take a seat. Hey, bunch of champions. Let's see what's new today. Or breakfast. Or... Hey, Erica. Oh, boy. Sully? Davies told me that she had to leave as soon as she got here, to let you know. Thank you. She said she needed to talk to you about that antique you found yesterday. How did she know? Terrence. Yeah, she was mostly talking to herself. You know how she does that. She had a similar piece or something. Really? Interesting. Need to see this thing. I'm sure. Are you avoiding me? Sully, I have 10,000 things in my head right now. Can we talk later? Sure. You want to grab lunch later? Uh... Oh, not today, Sully. I really am busy. Maybe some other day? Yeah, you got a hell of a case. By the way, you left your jacket at my place the other night. Uh, I can bring it by, or maybe you could... Yeah, bring it by. Sure, no problem. <laughs> Ugh, that looks so unappetizing. Nope. No. Ugh, no thanks. Oh, want to make you know. That's Scotty. It's my best picture of him. Oh, drawer, open drawer. 
Hey! I don't have any business with other government agencies right now. What about the computer? Any emails? I do love reading me some emails. Email. Read. Terence mentioned to me that you have found a piece of an antique last night at the crime scene. I was sent one anonymously last week. I gave it to Terence. It's not the first weird thing I've gotten lately either, but I wrote them off up until last night. I'll show it all to you when I get back later today. For now, I have to go take a look at something important. Davies. What does she have in her office? I have to get into Davies' office somehow. Hey, babe. We haven't spent time together in a while. Was wondering if you'd like to rent a movie and watch it at my place this weekend. Sully. Mm. Sully, how many times do I have to tell you not to call me babe? You sent a reply to that? Sorry. Busy this weekend. Can I reply to this? No. Cool. I could use a couple hours away from all this. Figures. Dad avoids visiting Scott. Maybe that's why he decided to bury him there. So that he could be as far away from his memory as possible. I'll read the email. I know I should be there today. It's hard to believe it's been three years today. He was wearing that damn brown and green sweater, and I remember you said he had a calm expression to his face when he... I sometimes still think he's downstairs playing his video games, being a lazy ass. I can't head to the city today. Got a lot going on. But I'll see if I can come over later this week. Buy some flowers for him, will you? Love Dad. Dad doesn't really want to hear from me. It's his way of avoiding talking. It's too painful for him, especially today. Alright. Why don't we reply to this? Count me in. E. <laughs> I don't think we really have anything else right now. Uh, let us get some snackages. I don't think there's anything else. I can connect to the FBI database through my computer. Cool. I can't. Let us not use the badge on it. Let's use some coins. Yeah, I'll pass right now. Oh. Alright, never mind. So how do I get to Davy's office? I have to get into Davy's office somehow. Hmm. <laughs> Shoot it with the gun. Use a coin. That won't work there. Cognition? I can't cog it. By the way, I'm coining that term. Water cooler. Alright, well, we've got a lot to do. Uh, oh my god. Let's go to interrogation. I have nothing to do there at the moment. Let's go to accounting. Accounting is up there. No, thank you. Let's go to the parking garage. Check out the morgue. Move it on. Let's see what they figured out. Hey, brother. That's my old buddy, Terrence. We took a couple of classes together back in undergrad. Is that 6 a.m. now? How you doing, bro? Isn't it cozy here? The Erica! No McCoy today? Nope. All by myself. Ah, good. I can talk you up some romance then. Terrence, you're my one true love. <laughs> Any luck identifying a guy? All the DNA strands I found were from the victim. Nothing from the killer. Not a drop of sweat? A hair? Nothing? <sighs> Nothing, man. This guy was clean, and I always find something. Like the little finger So they point. knew exactly what they were doing. 
What about our John Doe? It'll take a few days. You know how these things are. You'd think they'd come up with something faster. Call me if something comes up. Got it. So, how's life at the morgue? It ain't too different from when I had a team. No one speaks much. Only difference is that our zombies preferred to be in front of their computers with the lights off. <laughs> John says the same about me. I'm sure Gallagher is lovely to work with. <laughs> I keep getting on her nerves. <sighs> it's my new hobby. I need lockpicks. <laughs> I'll need to see you put your thumb on your nose, waggle your fingers, and pat your tummy first. What? If you're gonna ask for lockpicks, you really need to learn the thief sign, Biggie. What do I look like? The flea market? You're way better than a flea market. You have really? You have through that. Here, state of the art. Best line of lockpicks we have. Go and violate some human rights for me. But, wow! That's a little easier than I expected. Good guy, Terrence. I found something on that antique piece from last night. <laughs> Spill the beans. Apparently, it's a creepy toy from the 18th century, but it's been modified. So it wasn't something that was just laying around? No. It was very intentionally left there. Hmm. I won't confiscate it then. See what you can do with it. So this antique has apparently been broken into many different pieces. Didn't Davy send you something like this today? Yeah, I haven't ch- Oh, you mean the email she sent me this morning. Yeah, she mentioned something. Man, where's my head? Can I see it? I don't know. Davies will kill me. Come on, Terrence. This is important. <laughs> Tell you what, you scratch my back, and I'll scratch yours. Wait, where, where is this going? <laughs> what am I good for? Oh, it's just that... Gallagher's being a real pain in the butt about my equipment. I can't store it with hers because she doesn't want to. But then I have no other place to put it. And you want me to talk to Gallagher and see what I can do? You got it. See you later. Alligator! <laughs> Cute. Anything on the pad? Nah, yeah, nothing. Not that lucky. So they weren't kidding. They moved the forensics here. I guess Gallagher doesn't really need a secretary. I wonder if they fired Susie, her last receptionist. Let's take a look. Ding ding. <sighs> Agent Reed. Gallagher? God, time is going way too quickly. This is killing me. Another solitary gurney, ready for another sorry John Doe. It's really not the body so much as the death that makes this place so depressing. Can I open them? Uh, no. I'll leave those to Gallagher. What do we got? Who are you, John Doe? What's this? This wound is recent. It doesn't feel like a bone. Agent Reed? I'm sorry. There's something not quite right here. Could it be a bone or something else? Well, it's... It doesn't... F Agent... I'm sorry. Well, I mean, I'm not really gonna cut it open. But... That's obviously... I, I would think at least another... I wonder if it has any significance. Another sign... Another toy piece. If you have any questions about the body, please ask me. That won't work there. Can I get a picture of it? Do you mind? Go ahead. Beautiful. Anything else I should take a picture of?
That should do. Alright. Alright, honey. How's the autopsy going? This is an interesting one. Have you found anything new? The subject was drugged. I found high doses of a substance in his body. Have you identified the substance? I've sent it to the lab. I'll have more info on it later. Is there anything you can tell me about it? It was probably used as a sedative. There are no signs of direct struggle, other than those of dragging the body. Whatever contusions there are must have been caused by the friction of the skin with other materials. Like when the killer raised the victim to the table. So it was a smaller person. Whoever did this definitely struggled with carrying the mass of this body. You are certain now that the victim was killed by strangulation? After close examination, strangulation was the catalyst. But the victim suffered both a heart attack and a hemorrhagic stroke. How exactly did that happen? The blood pressure progressively reached higher values. That, combined with the lack of oxygen, was a fatal combination that caused all regulatory systems of the body to fail. The brain and heart are only some of the organs that suffered massive damage. How long did you say this process took? I would say between 45 oh. minutes and an hour. Are we running tests to ID the victim? Yes, Agent Reed. I know how to do my job. We sent a dental and are running a DNA test. Weren't lucky with fingerprints? The fingers are extensively mutilated, but I will try to reconstruct it later and see if I can get a partial. That's gonna take more than a few days, isn't it? Indeed. What about the tattoo? Is there anything you can tell me about the tattoo? It's brand new. 24 hours old at most. Do you think it was the work of the killer? Given the estimated time of death, it's possible. It was completed within a few hours of the death at most. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything I can get from it. I got the picture. Have you checked this on the body already? I saw it, but I haven't opened it up yet. Let's... Will you? As you wish. It's a toy piece. It's gotta be a toy piece. Well. Now that's unusual. What the hell? I that looks it. like a piece of the antique I found at the scene. Seems somebody left you a clue. I think I'd best hand this over to you. Thank you. I'll look into it. Make sure that good-for-nothing Bowlby knows of its existence. How's life treating you, Gallagher? I'm down a secretary and down an assistant, and Terrence moved in upstairs. What do you think? Are they both gone permanently? At least until things turn around financially. That's too bad. I miss Susie. She was an excellent secretary. I hope I can hire her back someday. But right now, I'm busy, Agent Reed. Yeah, I'll leave you be. Whoa, 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 whoa. Terrence mentioned something about wanting to use the storage. Yes, he's being a pest as always. Why won't you play nice? If he feels welcome, He'll never leave, and that would be unacceptable. So you won't reconsider about Terence using the storage? Without a direct order? No. Which you, of course, are not authorized to give me. Now can I get back to work? I'll be seeing you, Dr. Gallagher. Good luck, Agent Reed. Tools of the coroner's trade. Use any of them? Don't look like it. I don't need that right now. Gallagher prefers her old style tape recorder. Well, folks, as much as I really hate to quit playing, I do need to get to bed, unfortunately. Let's make a final sleep. Sleep, sweet. That's where the Gallagher magic happens, if you can call it that. Can I sit there? The direct number for her office down here. I guess I better keep that in my cell phone now that Susie's gone. I'd rather try something easier. Maybe I should talk to Terrence. It's 
so it's calling that, hey? Eh? Well, folks, as always, thank you very much for watching. Tune into the next episode of Cognition. Hey, okay, give, me, give me you. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're enjoying.